My favorite thing is to go where I've never been. For me, there's something just about going into somebody else's house. When it comes time to go, if I have to take a bus to somewhere or if I have to take a cab uptown, it's like I've got a blind date in a sense. It's always seemed something like that to me. And sometimes I have a sinking feeling of, oh, God, it's time and I really don't want to go. And then once I'm on my way, something terrific takes over about the sort of queasiness of it and how there's absolutely no method for control. If I were just curious, it would be very hard to say to someone, I want to come to your house and have you talk to me and tell me the story of your life. I mean, people are going to say you're crazy. Plus, they're going to keep mighty guarded. But the camera is a kind of license. And for a lot of people, they want to be paid that much attention. And that's a reasonable kind of attention to be paid. Actually, they tend to like me. I'm extremely likable with them. I think I'm kind of two-faced. I'm very ingratiating. It really kind of annoys me. I'm just sort of a little too nice. Everything is, oh. And I hear myself saying, how terrific. And here's this woman making a face. I really mean it's terrific. I don't mean I wish I looked like that. I don't mean I wish my children looked like that. I don't mean in my private life I want to kiss you, but I mean that's amazingly, undeniably something. There are always two things that happen. One is recognition, and the other is that it's totally peculiar. But there's some sense in which I always identify with them. Everybody has that thing where they need to look one way, but they come out looking another way. And that's what people observe. You see somebody on the street, and essentially what you notice about them is the flaw. It's just extraordinary that we should have been given these peculiarities, and not content with what we were given, we create a whole other set. Our whole guise is like giving a sign to the world to think of us in a certain way. But there's a point between what you want people to know about you and what you can't help people knowing about you. And that has to do with what I've always called the gap between intention and effect. I mean, if you scrutinize reality closely enough, if in some way you really, really get to it, it becomes fantastic.